Hello and welcome to this mini virtual field trip about um, chemical weathering. Now, chemical weathering is affecting gravestones and anything like, um, that contains calcium carbonate. Now, rocks that contain calcium carbonate are rocks like limestone and chalk. What happens basically is when it rains, um, there's a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. When it rains, the rain attaches itself uh, a little bit to the carbon dioxide and the rain that comes down is slightly acidic and the acid is called carbonic acid. Carbonic acid uh, has a chemical reaction with calcium carbonate, CaCO3 and the reaction is a very very slow one but over the years it will slowly slowly wear down the, the headstones or anything containing calcium carbonate. This field trip today um, is located in um, a place called Titchfield, uh, St Peter's Church uh, possibly the oldest church in Hampshire, um, dates back to 680, I gather, so that makes it about 1,341 years old um, uh, from today, 2021. Um, and our mission today is to look at these headstones, the gravestones, and see just how um, clear the date is on the headstone and that will give us an idea of the rate of weathering on, on limestone. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you a few pictures now of headstones and your job is to try and see if you can see the date on those headstones. Good luck. I'm just going to scan carefully over this headstone here. 1790, is that 1796? Possibly. Okay, we've come to a quite an old headstone here that is well I want you to try and help me here see if you can find out and actually look at the headstone here and see uh, just how old this is um, I can't really work out whose headstone this is it's almost like a forgotten graveyard this in a way where people have been buried they want to be remembered and people haven't come back to the graveyard to um, rewrite their graves because um, limestone will chemically weather as you know and um, after a while the people get forgotten okay so if you have a look here let's see if we can actually see here what age um, this person is and I think I can see here a 1, a 7, a 9 and something anyway 1790s so that's pretty good um, this one I think this one's slightly more readable because the southwesterly winds come from that direction over there so the other side of this headstone would get more more weathered and battered <laughs> it's a uh, half past the hour sometime and um, this side is slightly more protected from the southwesterly winds and the rain so top tip there if you're going to um, have your headstone or be buried in a graveyard um, request that your headstone is facing uh, away from the southwest okay so have it facing northeast maybe okay. you may notice on the headstones uh, that we have a lot of this gray looking stuff which is um, it's basically lichen l-i-c-h-e-n 
And what it does is, as it grows, it emits a very, very weak acid, oxalic acid, um, and that reacts with the calcium carbonate as well. So the poor headstones are getting attacked by the slightly acidic rain, the carbonic acid, and also from a weak oxalic acid from the lichen. Right, um, these, uh, this is the more um, recent part of the graveyard around here and people have chosen to use different types of stone. So limestone's not being used, maybe they've seen the problem with limestone with chemical weathering. So this uh, Mary Grace Biggs here, she's chosen to go for, um, or their family have chosen to go for slate. Now slate is what we put on our roofs, it's, a, it's one of the most robust, non-chemically weatherable uh, stone available. So slate, brilliant, you'll see that for years and years. This one here, beautiful stone this one here, um, this is George Julius Jackson Bart, okay, died in 1956 um, and also his wife as well died in 1979. This is um, granite, um, super super tough rock, won't weather at all, good choice, okay. Over here, beautiful one over here, um, Irene Glady's Wills, uh, 1975 and that's marble, a really, really lovely uh, piece of stone there. That won't weather as well for years, okay? So, um, when you're um, making your own headstone one day, maybe choose slate, granite, or marble. And here we have a bit quick close-up of the slate. Going on to the granite. And over here we've got the marble. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful in uh, teaching you a little bit about chemical weathering on uh, gravestones. And I'm just going to leave you with a nice aerial shot of this beautiful um, old church, over 1,300 years old, the oldest church in Hampshire. And let's have a look at it from the air. Uh...